Okay, so there is something that I wanted to talk about for a while now, but it's first now that I feel it, that it's it is the right time to do it. So, people have basically been speculating. I mean, like two years back, all the way back in 2014, I've heard people talking about this, and it is that this may be the f- last console generation as we know it. Now, in 2014, Adam Korolik thought that, you know, this is the final console generation because of the fact that Sony might run out of money. Xbox is likely to leave the industry, you know, Microsoft leaves the industry. And he thought that Nintendo had the most potential to release another system. And that's what we're seeing with the NX, basically. But we don't know if the NX will actually be a next-gen gen, gen system. We have to see that in the future, basically. But, at the time, I didn't think that this was, you know, the case. But, right now, things are starting to play out. You know, not the way we saw it then, you know, not that they were going to run out of money, but something else is going on here, okay? So, first, we saw Nintendo going over to make mobile games, actually. And this is something they have never done before, and it came like a shock to a lot of people. I mean, think about Pokemon Go. It made the more money, that game on its own, than the whole Nintendo company made that y- month, basically. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy how much that uh, game just made for them. So Nintendo might see what this industry, you know, the mobile industry, has to offer, basically. And it's not something that you and I would like, basically. But, you know, money drives companies. That's how it is. And if the mobile industry is a greater industry, and then they might target that industry instead, you know, and focus more on, you know, the mass population and stuff. And then Microsoft. What did Microsoft do? Well... Microsoft decided that they will release all of their Xbox One games for PC. Now, they used to release like Halo 1 and 2 to, for PC back in the day, but you know, with the Xbox 360, they stopped that. And yeah, it's first now that they are starting to release every single exclusive for PC. So if you have a Windows PC, you can get all of the exclusives that Xbox One has to offer, basically. And, you know, you can have a PS4 as well. So, it's clear that Microsoft are not really caring about having exclusives on their own platform. I mean, sure, Windows is like their platform as well. You know, it's Microsoft still, but to be fair, that doesn't make them sell Xbox Ones. That's just how it is. If you have exclusives for your system, it will help you to sell consoles. Now, Sony. What have Sony done? Well, like a week ago, they announced actually that, you know, PlayStation Now, which is like, you know, a subscription that Sony has. uh, It offers like you to stream PlayStation 3 games, you know, and... They're actually releasing this uh, PlayStation Now thing on PC. And, you know, this is something I didn't even know Sony would ever do, you know. It's like they're becoming more of a service, you know. Like, some people have speculated that Sony is going to be more of a service in the future. And actually... One guy at Xbox actually said this, you know, and he's not like one of the co-workers or something. He's like one of the main guys of Xbox. He's, uh, he actually said that, yeah, this might actually be the last generation of Xbox. 
that we're going to see. Perhaps we're going to have like new upgradable hardware, you know, similar to what the PC got. So if Nintendo moves over to mobile games, if Sony are becoming more of a service, you know, PlayStation is becoming a service, not Sony, but and then Microsoft are going more for like PCs, you know, the type of you know, upgrading your system. Then there won't be a console generation basically if and only if of course someone feels like stepping in and taking their place and you know going for people like you and me I mean you and me we basically like consoles right and they want to like target us you know if we don't like have a Xbox or a PlayStation or a Nintendo to buy anymore then perhaps LG would be the most likely to make a console because they don't have a history where they have actually done ma uh, like made a console before and you know I mean like if Philips were asked to like yeah we should make a console then you know the people at Philips would say no 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 we've already tried that it didn't turn out good never touching that industry again LG doesn't have uh, experience with that stuff you could like perhaps talk them into it basically because they have not like <laughs> made a like disaster uh, you know in the history of their company basically around video games so yeah that's probably what could happen you know or someone else comes in and makes a console perhaps L it's a little bit too late for LG to make a console I mean like they see Microsoft leaving, why are they leaving, you know, perhaps it's not the future, you know what I'm saying. So, perhaps we'll have to see, like, smaller companies making consoles, you know, and then they will, it won't be a mass product console anymore. And I mean, like, it might not be available for all consumers, you know, not a worldwide release, basically. And sa it's really sad to think about that, but sadly that might be what we are going to come across in the future. Okay, so that's what I wanted to talk about today. Have a good one, guys.